the president of the future. That's all you're playing for. All the crusaders. I got your back, boys. Show me if you got mine. The rubber match. Coming into tonight, St. Louis and Puno had split their last six meetings in half. The three wins apiece include a 2014 ILH title game dub from the Buff and Blue and a counterpunch 2015 ILH crown for the Crusaders. Tonight, Aloha Stadium was the private school proving ground for the pair of teams who split their regular season two game series this year. Let's take it on out to Halava. Two of the top quarterbacks in the state in Puno's Nick Kapule and the top wingman in the nation, Crusader Tua Tongo Vailoa, doing battle. Tua man striking first. A little curl route to Ronson Young in the first quarter. And this is some grown man stuff. Young hitting a little shake to the get free sideline for 52 yards. And check out the end of the run. Got the Crusaders back, putting the whole team on it. That score, one of his three TDs in the half. Story of this one was the Crusader D, though. They brought the heat on Kapule, forcing three first half interceptions. This cockroach by Kama Moore starting the onslaught. Crusaders are ILH champs. 28 14 the final. Both teams will go to the Open Division State Tourney. Rubber match earlier in Division II at the stadium. Second ranked St. Francis and fourth ranked Damien. Tight ball game takes us to the fourth quarter. Damien knocking it on the door up 14 12. Marcus Falfata Padrina on the fade route to Sean Apiki. Big brother going up and getting it. Third TD pass for Falfata Padrina. Damien and head coach Eddie Klineski going back to back. ILH champs 2012, the final. Well, you know, it's something that never happened at Damien, and it's something that's for the community, for the for the alumni, and, you know, for the people to come and the people right now. And, you know, we just did it for each other. You know, that's what we were, uh, we were working for, and, you know, we just came together and we did it. Damien's headed to the big dance in D2. They move on up to 6-2 and two on the season. Saints finish their campaign at 5-3. and three. And over on the Big Island, Hilo is BIIF Division I champs for the fourth straight year after topping Waiakea 40-3 in the league title game tonight. Vikings punching a ticket into state's D1 bracket starting up on November the 4th. Let's head on back to the gathering place. OIA D2 semifinals at IEA tonight. We're fifth ranked Waipahu, top Pearl City 13-7. Murata freshman running back Alfred Filaunga had 172 total yards and a touchdown. Waipahu punching a D2 state title ticket and a spot in the OIA D2 championship game next weekend. <laughs> back east to the South Shore we go and who let the dogs out? Kamuki and Wailu in the Battle of the Bulldogs. First quarter, the Lansing Cooney Show. On third and 15, Wailua QB, Tavesi Toya, hitting Cooney on the post, 50 yards to the house, six zip. Later in the frame, how's this? Cooney catching everything. Cocker roaches this Kamuki pass, setting up another TD. Last check, Wailua trying to hold on, up 19-14, late in the fourth quarter. <laughs> 